Uh, that was Cabot Phillips from <laughs> Campus Reform. He was asking all those questions, and well, obviously we got some uh, interesting answers. But uh, I want to bring Cabot in now because, you know, we see these kind of things over and over again. And it, it, I mean, but what always gets me is how proud they are. You know, like they did the right thing, but they don't even know what they did or what they're backing. It's trendy now to support socialism because the messaging battle has been won by the left because it's viewed as tolerant, open-minded, and compassionate. And anyone that comes out, if you're a young person, you say, I support capitalism. I support the free market. It's a dirty word. You're viewed as someone who doesn't care about poor people. You're only concerned with helping rich people stay rich. And so the left has won that, that talking point with socialism being uh, open-minded. And, and young people, though, sadly, don't actually know the facts of what it entails and what it's doing around the world. Okay, right but now. also I, I've seen uh, you know, the numbers where the socialists have made a really concerted yeah. effort to not only infiltrate colleges, but now they're in high schools big yeah. time. So. Uh, whoever's behind this, <laughs> ironically, spending a lot of money, but time, and it, it looks like it's really having a positive impact for them. It is. It's not a laughing matter anymore. At first, it was kind of, oh, ha-ha, the socialists, but now it really is serious. Millennials, who are the most likely to support socialist policies, are now the largest voting bloc in America. They're going to the polls with a warped perception of what it actually is all about. And I think it also stems from the way we've demonized success in America, especially in my generation, people who are wealthy or successful. It's always now, oh, well, they must have put the little guy down to get successful. It's right. a zero-sum game for them, and they're convinced that rather than trying to emulate success of wealthy people, they should try to drag wealthy people down to where they are so that everyone can be stuck in mediocrity, and that's what socialism is about. And sadly, they, they view being wealthy and being successful as something that's innately wrong. The counter to this, I mean, the, what are the forces out there that counter this other than harsh lessons of life that maybe a lot of millennials are going to have to learn over the next 10 years, particularly as they are introduced to FICO and others? I think the biggest counter will be them getting into the real world, that there's a reason socialism is most popular with young people because they're not actually the ones paying taxes. It's easy to support you know, student loans, uh, debt forgiveness, and free college tuition, and free mandatory minimum living wage, all these things when you're not the one that's subsidizing it. I think them paying taxes will be the first thing. And also, I think it's going to take, just at an at education level, us replacing a lot of these, you know, ridiculous courses with actual mandatory civics, government, history lessons. I think once people have a better context right. of what socialism has done throughout history, once we begin to prioritize those things again, people can maybe begin to understand what it's done. Isn't it a sort of a, a delicious irony that uh, the wealthiest uh, uh, of Americans uh, are the ones who frown upon, the, the young wealthy Americans are the ones who get to frown upon uh, capitalism and without <laughs> understanding the alternative that they're rooting for? And many people don't realize that the, any success they do have is many times because of the freedom afforded them by a, a free market system where they're able to go out and, and take chances and have you know, the government getting out of their way. And I think a lot more young people are conservative on economic issues. They just don't realize it yet. And once they actually realize that the government... Uh, once they actually get the government interference right. that they're asking for, they realize how difficult it makes it for them to do business, get things off the ground. And so, again, I think it takes getting into the real world to, to begin to shift their mindset. But this right. is a real rise in socialism, and it's something we need to watch. It's crazy.